Hey guys, I'm Free Reptile here, and today I will be giving you some care on American G frogs, also known as Hyla Samara. Please don't get mad at me if I said that if I didn't pronounce it right. That's just how I pronounce it. I'm not sure if that's completely correct, but anyways, let's get started. Okay. So this is my American Green Tree Frog. Let me show you what she looks like. Hold on. Hey guys, and for your uptight here, and today I will be giving you a care video on American Green Tree Frogs. Alright, so, this is my American Green Tree Frog, right there, her name is Foxy, and in my first video I made, there was two, yes there was two, but sadly, the one died, I'm not sure why, I just found them laying at the bottom of the tank, I was very upset, but, moved on from that. Still miss him. But anyways, let's get into this. Alright, so American Green Tree Frogs are arboreal creatures. They are in the they live in the United Miss they at the edge of the United States. And First off, we're gonna start with their enclosure. In the, their enclosure, you can give them like for for two frogs, that you can you need at least five gallons for every American green tree frog you have. Also, if I just per, that's what I think is the right and is what's recommend, which is the recommended size by a lot of people. And it just gives that if you give them a one gallon tank or something, it's not going to be good. They're not going to thrive in their tank. Anyways, they are nocturnal, which means they are asleep during the day and are awake at night. Anyways, so housing. Let's get back to housing. For housing, give them a 10 gallon tank. Um, they prefer to have a higher tank than a like a larger surface area so like an exoterra tank zuma tank stuff like that would be a little bit better for them this is what i have though i will probably be getting an exoterra or a zuma tank soon for it, her and then let's get on to temperature and humidity Okay, so for temperature, you want it to be about, I don't know if you can see here, but about like 65 to 70 degrees, you can go low 80s, but they do like it to be a little bit cooler, not too hot, but don't go under 60, 60 is pushing it, you may end up killing it, mine's kind of low. As you can see, it's right on the 60 mark, but she does very well at this temperature. She likes, she seems to like it a lot, and it's, she just loves it, this temperature a lot. She's always active. I've had it at a little bit higher temperature before, and she kind gets stressed out a little bit, so keep it a little bit cool for them. And humidity for as well as humidity goes. Keep it between the humidity and like the sixty to low sixties to high seventies range. And <clears throat> Alright, so, and then also, for feeding, and then now for feeding, you can, f you only want to feed them about 
mainly cricket is their main diet. You want to feed them side crickets that are like no bigger than the width between their eyes. If you do, it's going to be a little bit hard for them to digest. Occasionally, you can give them wax worms as treats. Do not, and I repeat, do not give wax worms as a regular main diet because if you do, this will end up, your frog will probably end up dying because wax worms are, have a lot of fat and do not have a lot of nutritional value. So only give wax worms as treats. Do not feed, you can feed mealworms every once in a while. Like, Probably every so often, but don't do it too much. Because don't have this as your main diet either, because they because they can because the frogs do not chew. They swallow their they swallow insects whole. So if you give them a um, meat too, if you have mealworm them all mealworms as a staple diet, the mealworms can end up chewing and in the frog's stomach and possibly end up chewing through it or and, or killing your frog. That's so much. We're almost done. You want to keep, you can keep them. Sorry, I blinked out there, but okay. Let's get back to this. All right. You want to have, now for it, the actual inside of the tank, like the setup and everything, you want to have a shallow water dish, not too high. I have this little leaf dish that suction cups to the side. And then I have this, uh, ten, the, my 10 gallon tank is divided, so there's a water side and then, uh, land side. I only fill this up with a little bit. It does help keep humidity pretty high and sometimes she'll hide back there behind that bridge. Tweet yourself back there and up there behind the temperature and the humidity, humidity gauge. She also loves to sit right, this is her favorite spot right here, up here in the corner of the tank in the front. As you can see, also, you don't want to have your substrate too moist because then it will start growing mold, like how mine is kind of there. And it's growing a lot under the coconut hunt. This is really bad, though, for the frogs. They, this could kill them. I I know I just said this and yet I have mold in it, but I do take it out. I take whatever I can. Every time if I see mold, I take it out by the handful and throw it away, and just replace it with brand new stuff. For substrate, you want to have a drainage layer. These little clay balls, you get that and get like a drainage and get like mess. Put that over top of that, and then you can put your actual substrate this will help keep the all the water that goes into the substrate if it does not get soaked in it will drain down to the bottom and it also reduces odor this is about it but also you're gonna have lots of plants for them to hide in so they don't get stressed out don't give them just one little plant give them lots of stuff to climb in i don't i have a lot because I'm gonna get more plants and stuff soon. And you can give them a high like I did, like a coconut. Like they don't they're not really gonna use it, but if you want to you can. I mainly did it for looks, but kind of looks, but then I also kinda did it in case like she ever wanted to hide in there, but most likely they will never ever hide in on the ground. They are pretty easy to care for. You make sh for adults. You can feed them every other day. That's what you should you should feed them every other day. And for lighting, I just have a UVB bulb, a regular room UVB bulb, and. It does not give off any heat, but it gives off light. And you should have, you don't need to, but you need some sunlight in your tank so that your frog knows that what time of day it is, if it, so it knows if it needs to be awake or it needs to be resting at this time. 
If not, this could possibly kill your frog. This happens with a lot of people's animals. They don't go in light, a lights and day a night and day cycle, and they end up dying because they don't know because they don't get enough rest because they're all awake too much. When they get too much rest and are never active. All right. Sorry, making this long video. Stutter a lot, but. Yep, that's American Green Tree Fog Care. This is Infi Reptile. And thank you for watching. Bye. Sorry, back again. I, I forgot to mention one thing, but. This is my Hermit Cub tank. Look out for a video coming soon on them. Probably about. So a week or so, I'll be making an update on our new tank. Alright, once again, bye. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Peace out.